The pectoralis major muscle is the cause of non-cardiac chest pain. Hello, my name is Simeon Neil Asher, and for the trigger point of the week this week, I thought we would explore front of chest pain, so anterior chest pain, and some of the trigger points that can refer there. So let's have a look uh, in the software, and we can zoom in. We can either click the front of the chest, or we can come down here, and we can look for front of chest pain. Here we go. Okay, so uh, as you'll see immediately, there are a, a few muscles that refer into the front of the chest. Uh, and I thought what we'd do today is we'd look at some of the, the ones that are a little bit more unusual, and then we're gonna focus at the end on the pec major. We'll save that, that to the end. So, so I think one of the really interesting ones is subclavius. Now, subclavius is a small muscle, um, takes its origin from, uh, from the uh, first rib, just uh, above the costochondral junction, uh, and then it inserts under the undersurface of the clavicle. Uh, in humans, it is a little bit of a weak muscle, uh, but it's certainly large in four-legged animals, and that gives you a kind of idea of some of its uh, uses, so loading in the, in the sort of ha on-hand position. So I've seen, for example, uh, uh, athletes or, or uh, acrobats that, that use a lot of uh, standing on their hands, uh, yoga teachers, people that are used to sort of putting weight through their clavicle, uh, and, and that can be uh, uh, people that come and develop sort of trigger points and present with anterior chest pain that actually is coming from subclavius. So an important small muscle, one to think about. The other thing is that the, the pain map for subclavius is absolutely fascinating. It sort of comes down almost like the C5-6 um, sort of dermatome, uh, down into the elbow, down into the arm. More to say about that in, um, in, in another video, actually. So, so that is subclavius, a small one. Uh, another one that we see fairly frequently, or two, is the scalenes. Now, the, obviously you've got the anterior, middle, and posterior scalene, huge, uh, vast uh, map. Again, very similar to C5-6 dermatome, um, but there's, there are certainly definitely anterior radiations for the scalenes, uh, and associated also with thoracic outlet syndrome, thoracic inlet syndrome, uh, there are different names for it. Um, so, so tight sort of scalenes can have a neurovascular uh, bundle compression. Uh, pec minor. Well, pec minor is a, a fascinating muscle. Uh, inserts into the sort of upper three ribs, um, uh, and um, from the uh, coracoid process, of course, of, of the of the uh, of the scapula. Um, and why is it interesting? Because um, often actually associated with uh, a sort of a brachial plexus compression. So sometimes people come in with what looks like a, a sort of a medial or ulnar neuropathy or some kind of nerve involvement. And actually when we palpate uh, trigger points through the pec minor, uh, that um, often can reproduce, reproduce some of their sort of neurological symptoms a little lower down. So it's something that's called a sort of a double crush or or certainly a, a, a plexopathy or a, a compression of the brachial plexus there just as it comes under the pec minor. Um, something we see, I've seen it recently with people that are doing weights, uh, swimmers, uh, usually someone that's overloading uh, that, the pec minor. Um, so, so that's the pec minor, scalenes, uh, and the subclavius. Now, what I want to do now is invite uh, Dr. Bob Gowen to talk to us about the pectoralis major and some of the absolutely fascinating features in terms of uh, non-cardiac chest pain. So I hope you enjoy. The pectoralis major muscle is the cause of non-cardiac chest pain. There is a place in the pectoralis major which is located roughly over ribs for uh, over ribs five to six in the midclavicular line, which is known as the arrhythmia trigger point and which is associated with premature ventricular contractions or PVCs or extrasystoles, which can be seen to diminish in frequency if one takes a electrocardiogram 
during treatment of the trigger points at this level. The sternal insertion of the pectoralis major muscle, I think is responsible for at least a certain significant proportion of patients with pain that is diagnosed as Tsetse's syndrome or costochondritis. And I say that because patients who have been diagnosed that way and treated with anti-inflammatory drugs resolve their costochondritis by needling of the fibers of the sternocleidal of the pectoralis major muscle. I hope you enjoyed that video, found it interesting. We've got a bunch of videos on uh, YouTube, Facebook. Please take the time to like us. It really helps us uh, to grow our library. And uh, thanks very much for taking your time to watch. And, and thanks, Jonathan, for putting all this together. Thank you.